そしてえっ、ー、ねえ選ぼうくごうピンクのピンクンなかったあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっ最喜欢的是哪一个造型，哪一个角色？但是我发现，在做巡演的时候，感觉我自己也越来越喜欢。It's D Day for many Macau fans of K drama actress Kim Ji Won. On August 17, 2024, Kim Ji Won first fan meeting be my one in Macau finally happened over the weekend at the Broadway Theater was a tremendous success. Leaving fans deeply and sincerely moved, and the actress with a newfound affection for the Macau and its people. It was actually her seventh time fan meeting in a nutshell. As Macau fans witnessed the event unfold, we listed down the remarkable moments that truly made the night a remarkable one. These highlights, undoubtedly, left a mark in everyone's hearts, making Kim Ji Won's first fan meet in the country, a night filled with wonderful stories and genuine love between the actress and her fandom. From the moment the lights dimmed, The actress channeled her inner idol and showcased her dancing and singing skills. We are so used to seeing Kim Ji Won's acting prowess that it came as a pleasant surprise that she has a beautiful singing voice and impressive dancing skills. For the opening prod, Kim Ji Won walked on stage singing again, the never ending stupid Cupid for her fan meet. Also, made sure to highlight her vocal skills live and on stage not only with Stupid Cupid, but also with a beautiful and soulful rendition of Lee Hee's emotional ballad, Only. The gorgeous actress said that she prepared the song for the fans because the lyrics are so beautiful, it made her want to share it with them, and that the song's message is also dedicated to the fans. Kim Ji Won also treated Queen of Tears fans with an OST performance. The Queen of Tears fever raged on, especially when Kim Ji Won prepared a special treat for the fans of her latest drama by singing Kim Na Young's From the Bottom of My Heart. Meanwhile, talking about Queen of Tears during the fan meeting, Kim Ji Won also had some fun interaction with her Macau fans. Ji Won mentioned that her favorite scene remains the lavender field scene. Knowing this fact, fans believe that something definitely happened here, as it's not really a happy scene, but it's memorable for Ji Won. Well, not to mention when Suyun intentionally skipped questions about lavender fields in his latest fan meeting in Hong Kong. Yeah, I tell you guys that there is special happened in the lavender field. Anyways, whatever it is, let's just keep it to them. And of course, Ji Won also mentioned Kim Soo Hyun again, with her favorite ad lib would be the scene she made a pinky promise with Yun Woo, applied ointment on his face when he got hurt, and also the part where she got surprised on the office del. She shared it was a natural reaction, and the director used it. She mentioned that she's not good at ad libs, but she's learning thanks to her seniors. Well, not just that. Kim Ji Won also mentioned that Hyun is the character of her life. She said, "But when Ji Won was about to change her outfit, she pointed at her finger, saying that she'll get changed into the wife look that everyone likes." Yeah, Kim Ji Won looks like teasing us because why would she do that? What do you mean, wife? I mean, it's just Ji Won flexing her ring on stage. Ji Won, you're too obvious, huh? Look at her outfits for today's fan meet, and here's Ji Won appearing extra beautiful in white. Ji Won really knows what we want to see and love. For her second outfit, she wore this C Anastasia crocheted lace maxi dress. Meanwhile, Ji Won also revealed that she always carries massage tools with her, and looked at her expression, saying that she left it on her bed. Mm -hmm.
She's so natural and always radiates pure beauty. Look at her being naturally cute, but also saying that she finds it hard to do eggio. <laughs> Oh, her accidental cuteness strikes again and again. At the event, they also discussed the ideas of what to call C-fans, and they responded loudly to, Yeobo. Can't help but remind us of Hunwu calling her Yeobo. <laughs> Jiwon shared that she preferred to be called Yeobo instead of Jaggy. <laughs> And here's Jiwon making sure she makes eye contact with every fans there, reminded me this. Meanwhile, the Queen of Tears was moved to tears with a serenade. Before the event ended, the crowd surprised Kim Jiwon with a fan project that involved Macau fans serenaded Kim Jiwon with the song, This Love, by Davichi. Jiwon said that her favorite OST from Descendants of the Sun is This Love by Davichi, because when she hears it, she thinks of the fans and now they sing it to her. The actress couldn't help but shed a few tears. She said she rarely cries but she did because she found the gesture so heartwarming. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her reactions to Macau Dongdang's singing, it's been 8 years since this song was released, but it feels like it was yesterday. The way she quivered her lips, she was trying to hold back her tears, this is such a beautiful love story of Jiwon and Dongdang's. Her hubby was right when he said, even when you're crying you're beautiful too, reminded this from Suyin song All of Me and his fan meet. No one can looks gorgeous this way while crying Kim Jiwon you are the only exception. Meanwhile, after the successful fan meeting in Macau, here's Kim Jiwon exiting the venue. Jiwon -e waves goodbye to her fans from the car so sweet and endearing. Look Kim Jiwon took the fan made banner with her is so cute. She showed it to her fans as she left the venue. Jiwon -e you're so sweet. Anyways, Kim Jiwon has two stops left to complete her Be My One Asia tour. Her next stop is in Bangkok, Thailand and her last stop was in Jakarta. Meanwhile, Kim Suyun has also two stops left to complete his Eyes on You Asia tour, his next fan meeting is in Jakarta and his last fan meeting was in Seoul. Oh no, we are almost done with their fan meeting era. Doesn't it something fishy, notice their fan meeting schedules was well organized, look like they discussed about it, cause even the dates and placed were actually the same, and almost next to each other. What do you think? Is this coincidence again cause I really don't believe. Another hints again we gathered. Anyways, that's it for the video guys I hope you like it. More Suyin and Jiwon updates are coming so let's be updated, see you on our next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.